My name is Junior Howell of Color Specialist Factory, the company that is focusing on changing the color, the way we do business in coloring in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and globally. Coloring using powder is not a new phenomenon, but basically a way of doing business that is environmentally friendly, and I want to stress cheaper, much cheaper, that is economical, in other words, that is really optimal in your choices of colors. You can choose anything that you can paint, we can color. And bearing in mind that this way of doing color is using powder, as opposed to using paint, which gives off VOCs, fumes, in the atmosphere and those fumes are purported through research to be damaging to your health. So that the new way of doing business which began in the 1940s is to use a natural way of powdering, of coloring, making it cheaper for you, making it environmentally friendly and making it global. basically is based on uh, your understanding of the, the electrostatic application of powder to metal. By that I mean, that's a fancy way of saying that if we ground a piece of metal to the earth and make that metal positively charged with the, with the grounding, we can take powder and attach it to a negative charge through a gun and that gun when the gun is fired and sprayed into the atmosphere all those particles that are attached to the powder which act as a maxi taxi as you would look for the hanging piece of pan or hanging door or the hanging car wheel or the hanging piece of plastic or the hanging a particular kind of wood and those those the, those particles hug the metal hug it and cover it totally that metal is then or that particular article is then placed in an oven and the oven heated up to 375 to 400 degrees takes a couple minutes or maybe a little longer depending on the type of powder and covers, cures over the, the particular pan or object. And the flow makes a smooth, durable covering. We have in the past experimented with the, the, the process of teaching people about the choice of powders. But for that reason, Color Specialist Factory at William Street Laventil, William Street Laventil, Color Specialist launched a school of powder coating. We are the first such institution in the West Indies which began teaching young people the theory and hands-on of powder coating. And recently, we had a few graduates who are so excited, uh, they have gone uh, they, they are thinking of starting their own company, which is one of the things we are promoting. Those of the visitors among us who have come are excited and we have been engaged in exporting a lot of these instruments, especially PAN. Those people who have come into the, the knowledge and would like and have taken the opportunity to get their instruments uh, represented us various parts of the world are doing powder coating. Steel orchestras away are in the process of taking advantage of this more economical way and more durable way, more long lasting. Because the musical aspect of it is that it, there is no change in tone because that's a main question many people ask. We can do this because we can control the thickness of the powder on the instrument or substrate or appliance. 
we are able to control and as you know in the middle of the pan if you needed a nice round rich sound then you, you can control the layer of powder and you, if you wanted to work with something differently on the skirt of the instrument you can again make that, that adjustment and therefore you can have a variety those people in the cell phone industry have come to us and we do not number cell phones we we work with a lot of cell phones covers and and badges and people who are doing it in a mass production way are finding that they're, they're, they're saving a lot of money going that way and with a wider choice of colors. The process of powder coating relies very heavily on the preparation of the item. And we have focused a great deal of our attention. I want to say that a great deal of our attention has gone into the preparation. And so that one of the things that seems to intrigue the visitors who have come to us is the extent to which we have used a variety of cleaning processes, some of which are only resident in our location. This, this booth is the powder booth. This is the venue in which all the activities are going to take place where you powder coat. Now there are filters in here and the purpose of this booth is to enclose the operation that you're going to do and also to extract the powder from the air so that it becomes environmentally friendly. We, have, we are very, 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 very concerned about our environment and so that we, we, we take care of everyone who is working with us in the, in, in the various ways we dress. So this, uh, this booth here is going to simply take the air, the powder out of the atmosphere. I'm going to turn it on now and there's going to be a sound and we'll go to stage two. Here we go. We are now on to stage two. In the next stage, we are on to the actual powdering. And our professor of powder, Major Stowe, is going to be the man who's going to demonstrate that. The gun that he's using takes the powder out of the box and adds a charge to it. The, the powder is now charged and is able to, to connect with the metal that is negatively charged by virtue of its hanging from the frame. That allows it to stick as it were and to remain on the metal. He is going to spray so as to make sure the entire substrate